welcome to the lecture students in this class we will see about the working of a tunnel diode so what is a tunnel diode here you can see about the symbol of a tunnel diode what happens in tunnel diode electrons tunnel from the n side to the p side when a bias voltage is given so here some of the important aspects uh, are to be considered uh, a step by step procedure it is a five step procedure uh, by which a tunnel diode conducts maximum current and then what happens after it conducts maximum current what are the steps it undergoes come let's see the step by step procedure so here you can see a unbiased condition of an unbiased tunnel diode in this diagram this is the valence band of the p side and conduction band of the n side so uh, what happens here is in an unbiased condition there will be no tunnel tunneling current what is meant by unbiased condition uh, not applying any voltage uh, is an unbiased condition at this condition when there is some due to some uh, reasons when there is an increase in temperature what happens electrons from the n side move towards i mean electrons from the conduction band in the n side moves to the towards the holes in the p side and holes in the valence band in the p side moves towards the conduction band in the n side so this happens during when unbiased condition no tunneling current is produced here when some amount of voltage is applied a small amount of voltage is applied this voltage uh, should be will be less than the deeply uh, barrier potential voltage you know about the barrier potential right every diode even tunnel diode or pn junction diode it has a barrier potential so at this case a small voltage we are applying here what happens this voltage is less than the barrier potential due to this application of small voltage what happens only some amount of electrons move from the n side to the p side it produces small current due to movement of electrons a small amount of uh, tunneling current is uh, produced then what happen we will increase the voltage for uh, voltage is in the x so we will increase the voltage um, further what happens more amount of electrons tunnel from the n side to the p side so always uh, we have been discussing current move in the direction opposite towards that of the electrons so some amount of uh, tunneling current i mean if the voltage is increased based upon the increase of voltage and movement of electrons the tunneling current is produced this is the maximum tunneling current so in these three steps no tunnel current where no bias voltage and some amount of tunneling current where electrons move from the n side to p side and then the voltage is increased to the maximum level so what happens more amount of electrons is moving so here if you see that this is a valence band and conduction band uh, no overlap here slightly overlap and fully overlapped valence band of p side and uh, conduction band of n side so let's go to the fourth step here if we keep on increasing the voltage that is the peak point we are seeing in this is the peak point and further after the peak point if we increase what happens this level is raised so still there will be a uh, movement of electrons but there is misalignment in overlapping you know what i mean the misalignment in the sense in this diagram there was pure fully overlap of this valence band and this conduction band and next what happens when the voltage is increased this conduction band of uh, n side goes above uh, the entire band goes above and you, and during that condition also there will be movement of tunneling of electrons from the n side to p side so if the voltage is further increased it will further and further go up and this electron tunnel from this n side to p side will slowly reduce and this current will reaches this region and when the applied voltage is still largely increased what happens this will go above no overlap of valence band and conduction band and now this acts as a normal pn junction diode what happens to normal pn junction diode it has a barrier potential when the barrier potential is crossed what happens it starts conducting the forward current these are the steps of a, how a tunnel diode is working here if you can see again the step by step graph is a tunneling current slowly increase the voltage and then increasing further it reaches a peak point 
and then further increase the over there will be misalignment in overlapping and it will slowly go down and this region very important region the negative resistance uh, is called as negative resistance since uh, why it is called as negative resistance uh, we know that voltage is proportional to the current here the voltage is increased but there is, due to the misalignment as you saw in this diagram misalignment of you know, this uh, conduction band uh, valence band here and conduction band though the voltage is increased only few amount of electrons few amount of electrons uh, go to from n side to p side so the current reduces current produced current is produced when there is more amount of electrons tunneling from n side to p side here though the voltage is increased what happens the transfer of electrons from n side to p side reduces so it goes to the this region and there is no overlap of uh, conduction band and valence band it acts as a normal conventional pn diode so this is the entire working process of a tunnel diode this is the vi characteristics of a tunnel diode thank you